inspirational breakfast. I understand you said you came to Faith while participating in another musical, was that right? That's correct, yeah. yeah. At uh, university I was doing the production of Jesus Christ Superstar by okay. Angelo Weber. And um, I was getting familiar with the role and studying it in audiovisual room in uh, the Barber Institute of Performing Arts. <laughs> and I was on my own, and I remember it so well. I, I I watched the film, and at the end, the beautiful music of Gethsemane is playing. Um, and I was crying my eyes out seeing Jesus on the cross. I was like, right. "Wow, this guy is amazing." Yeah. This guy, what he did for us is awesome. And, and this, this was pre-faith, really, or pre-a conversion experience. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, okay. I, or you were just coming up to it. <laughs> yeah. This was the climax. Yeah, and, okay. But at that moment, that, that's when Jesus, God, came into my life. And, right. and my, my life changed forever. I, I mean, did it change immediately? Did you say to your friends at, at, um, around you, your fellow students, I've met with God, or I mean, how, did you something you wanted to keep quiet about for a bit? No, not not at all. I I, I guess I was going to church. The best thing it was that I lived in Selly Oak. Everybody who knows Birmingham University will know Selly Oak or right. Smelly Smoke, as it's uh, known. <laughs> and my neighbour was a guy called Phil, a doctor who was a Christian. He he kept on saying to me on Sundays, "Fancy coming to church, mate? Fancy coming to church?" Well, I thought, do I? I wanted to go because I liked him. He yeah. was a good friend, so I went along to tell him test the water see what it was like and I liked it right and so I had built uh, uh, some friends a community of friends at that church and so okay. when I became a Christian it's like this all makes sense and so I could right. share that with them and you get that honeymoon period right do, do you remember yeah. that yeah, when I you do. become a Christian I do yeah. for two weeks it's like I do. you're on cloud nine it's awesome right uh, and I, I've never been ashamed of admitting my faith right uh, and so yeah I, I never kept it quiet right Fantastic. And uh, might we ever see a, a, um, a gospel, a Christian album from you, or is that not on the horizon? I very much hope so. I, I've always said I'd love to record uh, Christian songs, new and old. Right. There's songs like um, I Worship You. Lord, I worship you. I give my life to you. Yeah. There, there isn't a reference of that on YouTube, or I, I, I don't think. I think there's a panpipe version on I, uh, on iTunes, iTunes. <laughs> but it's not a vocal. I want, okay. I want to record that song. Right. Other okay. songs like um, uh, Refiner's Fire and okay. new songs. Yeah. So yeah, what one day I really hope to and maybe play the Christian festival. We were talking off air about the fact that Tom Jones has just um, and, and a fellow Welshman has just recorded a, a gospel album, an album of hymns, I believe it is. I'm, I'm waiting to hear it at the moment. Mm. And you were saying your grandfather delivered Tom, Tom Jones. Jones. Yeah, it, that's right. Yeah, it, my grand my grandfather, Colin, uh, was uh, Tom's doctor uh, in Pont de I think they lived on the same street as well. Yeah, right. it's uh, and Tom, fantastic singer. You know, he sings like he has the spirit within him. I don't, I don't know. I've, I've never met Tom. He sings with a passion. He, he, he? really does. Yeah, Even at se he's just turned seventy, hasn't he? Incredible, really. Yeah, yeah. There are so many people who we, you wouldn't think are Christians in the world of music, but but then they, you find out later that they are. Uh, and and going back to the Welsh connection, what what, what is it with the Welsh? Is is this a, a part of the Welsh revival? Do you think that that so many people are um, turn their musical talents as as Christians to to singing to the Lord, you know, from Wales. I mean, we we know so many of them. Well, I, I suppose there are those that don't as well. The Charlotte churches of this world, for example. Oh well, yeah, um, but yeah, definitely. And for for me, we spoke earlier about going to Sunday school and stuff. It was about the music. You know, you'd you'd be at the, the Sunday school and you would sing fun songs. I remember a guy. Um, he was called Ishmael. Oh, I remember him. I used to yeah. idolise Ishmael. You probably produced, have you done a few I, albums I, I with Ishmael? I did a few albums with him, yeah. I used to love his songs, you know, and, and, I, and I think from a young age I was uh, immersed in music and loved it, and that was my way of worshipping and praising God, and that right. hasn't changed. Right. The, the style of music is slightly... <laughs> different, you know, it's evolved a bit. I'm not singing. Uh, yeah, well, I still, I still like a bit of higher, 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 oh, right. higher, higher, higher. Jesus, higher, lower, 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 lower. Satan, lower. Remember the Ishmael yeah. song. <laughs> um, yeah. But you know, I wouldn't probably record that on an album. No. But for, for me, um, that I, I, I don't. I mean, we're all open to the gifts. We are, if we ask for them. But, but I haven't really um, gone into tongues or, or, or you know, um, I, I don't. Don't think I've ever healed anybody. Not directly. I mean, obviously, it's not me who heals. It would be God through me. But but 
but I can worship through song. He's given right. me a gift. Yeah. And when I go on stage, when I'm singing secular songs, not, nothing to do with Christianity, I still feel... That's, that's the center of the universe for you. You feel, this yeah. is what I was born for. Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. That's such a blessing.